Well, a couple of moms found a creative way to connect the tennis community. Second Serve is a new podcast packed full of useful and fun information about the game. Co-hosts Carolyn Roach and Erin Canigliaro are here to tell us all about this unique listening experience. Welcome to you both. Hey, Carolyn, I want to start with you. What sparked the idea for this podcast? Yeah, so I thought I'd start a legal podcast because my husband and I are both attorneys. But then I realized it would be so much more fun to talk about adult recreational tennis with my best friend, Aaron, who is amazing <laughs> and can talk about tennis all day or talk about anything. Really. I can talk about anything all yeah. day. <laughs> but most of the other tennis podcasts out there are, for, are about professional tennis. But the majority of the people that play tennis are like us, right. which are just average <laughs> players exactly. that love the game. And um, and we're hoping this podcast will, ha will help other people want to play. And so, Erin, let's bring you in on this conversation. Uh, what sort of topics are we talking about here? Oh, gosh. We talk about everything from tennis manners. That one was actually really popular. Um, to advice for beginners. We've had a 90-year-old woman on that's still playing tennis um, a couple days a week. We've had um, someone learn how to play tennis um, from watching YouTube videos. Yes. Um, so it's kind of like every walk of life. Uh, every age group, um, it's, you know, the topics just kind of run the gamut. And it, like Carolyn said, it really is a podcast for everyday, ordinary players. I did not start playing until I was 40 years old. And wow. um, we don't have situations that, that the pros have that have been playing since they were right. kids. So we really talk about what happens to us just going out there as, as, as parents, as adults, um, you know, and what happens on the court with friends. You know, I'm so glad you mentioned this whole idea of tennis etiquette because I think a lot of people, when they first start playing tennis, they don't realize that there is, there, there's some etiquette there involved in yes. terms of when you're on the court and when you should get a ball, when you say thank you and the like. Uh, what kind of response have you been getting? Do you want to take it? Oh, yeah, we can just, yeah. everybody's been loving it. You know, I didn't know if anybody would even listen. I knew our right. teammates would listen, but we weren't <laughs> sure if anybody else would. But then we had it where, I mean, people have listened from 80 different countries. Wow. Yeah. People have contacted us and said they love it. Um, one girl said she was lonely and mm -hmm. listened to us. Yeah. And it made her feel like, she, you know, she wasn't as lonely anymore. So, oh. I mean, it, it's just been an amazing response. Yeah. 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 From really all over quickly, the country. We got about great. 30 seconds. Tell us, yeah. our audience, the importance of playing adult tennis, how, how it helps recreationally. Oh, there's huge benefits to playing. There's actually studies out um, that just came out that it adds nine years to your life. You can literally start playing tennis at any point in your life. You could be in your 50s. You could be in your 20s, you know, really anything. Um, but the mental health aspect, Carolyn, don't you think? Yes. I think what we found most interesting is that every guest we had talked about how it helped their mental health yeah. more so than their physical. But the thing we love most about playing the friendship is built. Yeah, I was just, and going to lunch. Just <laughs> going to lunch could, after we play and building friendships. Fully yeah. relate to what you're talking about, Carolyn yes. Roach and Aaron Canigliari, co-hosts of the podcast Second Serve, and of course you can get that podcast where you download podcasts. Ladies, thanks a lot. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And we would love for Ken Smith to be on. Yes. <laughs>